Thursday night. I hope you guys are doing well. Hopefully you got outside yesterday when it was gorgeous out and did some outdoor art. Today, unfortunately, it's beautiful. It's warm, but it's raining. So we're gonna move inside. And I thought we'd do a little bit of recycled art. So I want to start out by actually showing you a project that I did when I was in college. Um, the assignment was to make a book out of all recy recycled products. So let's zoom in a little bit. I've got my cameraman son, Ben, helping me out again. So I called my book Living Green. Uh, this first page is actually made out of soda cans. So if you zoom in closer a little, you can see that these, there's a root beer can, another a cherry Coke can, whatever, that I actually cut the aluminum cans open and then I sewed them together with wire. That's what this is right here. And then I used hot glue to get these on. This is the cover of the book. Each page is made out of a different type of recycled materials. So this is some bubble wrap. And in the bubble wrap, I have the recycle sign and an image of the earth. And there's the earth again. This page, um, um, here's the recycle sign, but over here, over the course of two weeks, I collected all the, the paper that was used in making different types of tickets. So I have a ski ticket, I have a lotto ticket, another ski ticket, uh, movie tickets, um, just to show how much paper is used making tickets for different products. This pay, oh, and I, as you can see, this was on the back of a little Caesars box. This next page says each year, more than 2 billion books, 350 million magazines, and 24 billion newspapers are published. So for this page, what I did is I cut up um, strips of newspaper and pages from magazines, and I wove them into a background paper. Ooh, it's sticking a little bit. All right. This next page of the book is actually made out of pieces of a milk jug. Almost every hour, nearly 250,000 plastic bottles are dumped. It is not surprising that plastic bottles constitute close to 50% of recyclable waste in the dumps. Okay. So again... Recycle that plastic, don't dump it. This has a bunch of other facts about recycling. This next page is about junk mail. So um, this, the page itself is composed of a bunch of different mails. And then this fold out, this, uh, this was when my daughter Amber was applying to colleges and it was about all the different um, mail that she got from colleges and how many different colleges used up so much paper in their mailings. It's a lot of mail. There was more than that too. All right. Right here, I have tags from clothing. So some soccer socks, those must have been yours then. Mm -hmm. um, then different clothing tags that uh, from things that I had bought within that two week, two week period. This page is actually made out of plastic bags, like Wegmans bags, although Wegmans doesn't give bags anymore. So I actually um, ironed the bags together to make a solid surface and I made sure it showed the words, please recycle me, please return to a participating store, please return bag to participating stores. So this is, and there's the big recycle symbol. This one is about styrofoam. Unfortunately, styrofoam can't be recycled. So we made it into art. One world's trash is an artist's treasure. So, and that's the end of my recycling book. The last page is just another recycle logo, reused, and some more cans. So,
today I'm going to show you how to reuse to make art. So then follow me this way. All right, we're going to just reverse. Don't get dizzy. All right, so over here I have everything you need to make a couple of sea creatures from water bottles and old plastic bags. So here's, we had uh, hamburgers the other night. So I saved the hamburger bag so that I could cut that up. Um, this is a bag that held uh, corn that I already cut up. Those are a couple things that you can use. You'll need some kind of a bottle so you can I don't usually drink out of water bottles, but I did save a couple that I had found at school, actually. Um, and we're gonna make those into sea creatures. So this is the beginning stage, a little fish. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And I'm also gonna show you how to make a bigger one, a bigger fish that you can also use the other half of it to make a jellyfish. All right, so I'm gonna show you on the big guy but you could also do the same thing with the little one. Some plastics are a little more difficult to cut, so you may need to get adult help with that. All right, so I already took the label off of my bottle. It's pretty easy to do. Usually all you have to do is snip it and rip it off. Then the next part, this is the part you're probably gonna wanna get an adult to help you with, is to cut off the bottom. So it can be a little bit tricky, but you gotta get that first start, starting cut, and then you just go around to cut the bottom off. The bottom you're actually going to save, and then you're going to make the top part into your fish. Do you have to make a fish? No, this is just the idea that I'm showing you. Okay, so this first part can become your the body of your fish or your shark or whatever sea creature you want to make. Um, if you can then re reuse this to make the tail on it, or you could get another piece of plastic to make a different type of a tail. All right, if you're using a water bottle, it's pretty much the same process. Take the tag off, much easier to cut the bottoms off. If you get soda bottles, Sometimes they're really hard to cut, so they don't all work. All right, so I cut the bottom off. Now, to make it look more fish-like, I'm going to start by squeezing it this way. I'm going to cut a triangle out of this end and a triangle out of this end. All right, now, zoom in a little bit. Make sure that they can see this part. Bless you. Thank you. All right. So now we've got this part will be the fish's body. This part will be the fish's tail. To hold that in place, I've just got a regular roll of scotch tape. And I'm going to tape around the places where I cut. All right. I'm going to grab one more piece just to make sure it's very secure. All right. So there we have the fish's body and the fish's tail. If you want to, you can cut the fins, the back fin into a more interesting shape, like this. All right, and if you really wanna get creative, you can add different, you could tape on different fins or different, um, I don't know, different designs, patterns. You could even take maybe some of this and wrap it around your fish to decorate it, right? To give it stripes. Ooh, and what's that great word? Texture. Good art word, right? Okay, so there are many ways you could decorate this. You could actually glue different pieces of paper scraps or plastic straps, scraps onto it. You can also use permanent Sharpie markers. They also work to decorate your fish. Or if you have acrylic paint, acrylic paint actually stays on it permanently. So you can paint with acrylic paint. All right, so let's say you want to make a jellyfish. So you've got the bottom 
of your bags, of your um, water bottle, or your soda bottle. Now a gel jellyfish has a lot of different tentacles that hang down. So some di there's some different things. Again, I'm gonna go back to my strips of plastic. You could hang your little strips of plastic from it. You could also, sorry, that's my daughter calling me. You could also hang pieces of ribbon. You could hang pieces of plastic wrap. Anything you want to make your jellyfish's tentacles. Obviously, the more different colors you use, the more colorful your jellyfish will be. So let's keep going around with our jellyfish tentacles. It's starting to come together. Okay. Let's see. It's starting to look like a jellyfish now, Ben? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can hang that up. So now we've got the beginnings of a fish and a jellyfish. Good stuff. Ribbon, cut pieces of ribbon could make really good tentacles. Uh, pipe cleaners, if you have those, can make tentacles. Be creative, think of different stuff. All right, so that's idea number two. The last idea is a little clam. So if you have an old egg carton, you can cut it up into different sections and then just give it a little snip right here and right here where it bends. And when you close it up, you've got a little clam. I know some kids last year that made these with me. They put little oyster, little pearls inside their oyster. They made them oysters instead of clams. Some of them put little faces on it, little tongues sticking out. So get creative. There's a lot you can do. Uh, other things that I pulled out of my own recycle bin. I got a cardboard tube from a paper towel holder. Ben, any ideas on what you could do with a paper tube? Use it. As a periscope. Yeah. You got it. You can make a periscope that you look around with. It could also be, if you cut it up, it could be legs for a little table. So if I wanted to make a little table, cut the little legs. I can make a little table or a little chair. Got my fiber one bar box. Build it however you want. I also pulled out a yogurt container. Lots of good building options here. You don't even have to glue these permanently. It can be just for fun. Pulled out a berry container. Mm, that's got a lot of possibilities. So the point is, reuse it. And then some fun. Doesn't matter what you build, just do something. All right, goodbye Wayne Elementary, have fun.